Hi, I'm Brian, and if you watched my last video, you'd know that at Sandblast Rally, we had some mechanical issues towards the end of Special Stage 2. We uh, had the car stall, and then it didn't want to turn over, so we eventually got it started again, but it wouldn't idle. We had to rev it, and we were able to finish the stage. The oil temperature had shot through, through the roof. It was like 340 plus. Um, and we were able to finish the stage, and then at the end of the stage, uh, we started hearing the knocking, and uh, we were able to get a mile or two into transit towards service, and the car completely died. We were unable to continue. At that point, it wouldn't restart, and uh, I checked the oil, and there was metal flake in it, and I knew from the moment I saw the oil temperature during the stage, it was probably a rod bearing, but, you know, I don't know for sure yet, and that's what we're going to find out today. So. We're going to tear this motor down and uh, see exactly what happened. Um, now, I'm not too familiar with these motors, but this is an EJ25D. It was uh, swapped into this car at some point. I'm not super familiar on the car's history, but it was not the original motor. Um, so yeah, the symptoms were uh, uh, engine didn't want to turn over. There was, it was resistance to turning over, um, crazy high oil temperature, um, bend knocking, and uh, metal shavings in the oil. I uh, even pulled a little sample of the oil out of the filter so you guys can kind of see what I'm talking about, maybe, hopefully. Uh, I'm not sure if you guys will be able to see that, but let's see here. But yeah, it's mostly fine stuff. There's a couple slightly larger chunks, but that's pretty much what I'm dealing with. This is going to be my first full teardown on one of these, so uh, bear with me if it takes a little longer, but uh, stay tuned and hopefully we'll figure out exactly what happened. Um, my biggest question, I'm not sure if I mentioned it already, is did the high oil temperature cause the failure or did the failure cause the high oil temperature? Um, I'm not even sure if the teardown will let me know, but if anyone has any first-hand knowledge on this, please let me know. All right, thanks a lot for watching. Let's get started. All right, now that I've got the block down to this point, I thought I'd uh, show you what I've found so far. Uh, someone's definitely been into this motor before. Um, there's a bunch of stuff, like for instance, I'm pretty sure uh, these intake ports have been ported slightly. Uh, I'm not an expert on these, but I don't see any casting marks and it looks pretty sharp. From what I can tell, it looks like they did a pretty good job. I'm not an expert on these motors though, and I don't know how much material they took off where. But uh, that looks good. Uh, some problems though. The uh, tensioner is leaking oil. Um, I just marked this, but uh, whoever had pulled this cam off last had uh, like roughed off the edges so the tool won't hold it properly. Um, so yeah, there's that. Uh, timing didn't seem to jump, um, which is good. But uh, also, uh, this uh, keeper, or whatever they're called, uh, was rubbing the timing belt along with part of the inside of the covers broken off. And uh, this guy is also broken. Um, let's see here. looked like number three I believe it was was the one that was shooting the most uh, metal out of it if you look at the oil pan you can see all the metal It 
it's hard to tell just from the splatter, but it looks like it was number three, I think it is. But we'll know for sure soon. All right, so I finally got this thing apart and uh, definitely went through a bearing and uh, or something. Um, number one has got some play in it. I'm pretty sure that's the bad uh, rod bearing. Um, you can see in the block where it was hitting, causing the knock. And uh, whatever bearing went, it basically just torched everything else. It shot all the bearing material into the other bearings. And you can see all these crank bearings are messed up and they've got a bunch of material in them. Uh, it's pretty much the case with every bearing I've seen. Um, so let's see what it is. But yeah, you can also see on number one cylinder how there's a little bit of... Here, let me get a light. Where it was impacting. So, let's see what this boy looks like. Obviously, I would not uh, treat a good motor this way. And, yep, yeah, that's it. That sucker's nasty. I don't even... I'm not even sure if there's a bearing anymore. Oh, yeah. Oh, look at that. Crack the crank. Definitely just crack the crank. See that? Let's see if I can get a light to show you better. Crack the crank. Oh no, that's the bearing. Never mind. Well, that's, that's definitely the problem. So it spun this bearing and uh, threw all the bearing material through the oil system and uh, pumped it into all the other bearings so the oil filter caught what it could. And then ended up pumping the rest into all these bearings and messing them up. And I'm guessing that's what caused the oil temperature to shoot up is the bearing material getting in there into all the bearings and causing a bunch of friction. Um, in fact, some of these connecting rods don't spin like the, the amount of, uh, resistance on them is all different like this one. I can't even spin. I think that's why the oil temperature went up so high. 
So my question is to someone who knows more about this than I do, what can be done to prevent these spinning bearings like this or destroying bearings? I, I see it like a lot of people have done it. I, I mean, I'm new to this, but I know a lot of other people who've been rallying more than me have spun a lot of these uh, rod bearings. So uh, if anyone knows what can be done to improve it other than buying brand new motors, uh, please put it in the comments. And uh, thanks for watching. I thought of a little bit more information I wanted to look at and uh, wanted to share a couple better images for anyone who might be interested. There we go, let's focus a little better. Definitely looks like a few of them took some material in from... Whatever, from that... uh rod bearing that went bad and these other journals don't seem too bad but that one's pretty done and uh, I pulled the oil pump apart as well just to double check it it's a 9 millimeter oil pump I didn't see anything that looked too bad on it there's a little bit of wear on it but nothing that really made me think this was the cause I mean, I can't really feel it with my finger if I run something real sharp across it I can feel it but and this thing doesn't like to focus And it is a 9 millimeter pump. Here's the bearing. Or bearings that came together. So yeah, let me know what you think. Thanks for watching.